Hello, I'm Katrina and I'd like to welcome you to Cornwall Health Library. We're here to support you, so please do come in and use the library and contact us if you need any help at all. When you come in, just look out for our social distancing measures. Please keep watching. You're going to hear from one of our local GPs. There are then some slides which give you some practical information. And then some of last year's fourth years are going to talk a little bit about how they made use of the library. So my name is um, Dr Alex Burns. I'm a GP in Three Spa Surgery in Truro, and I also work at the hospital and a little bit at the University of Exeter. Um, on our um, practice website, we have little spiels about ourselves, uh, so patients can choose to see a doctor who's interested in gynaecology or psychiatry or, or musculoskeletal illnesses and things. And I always put in my little spiel that I'm interested in evidence-based practice. And one of my colleagues the other day had a, a complaint from a patient uh, who said, well, you know, he said he's interested in evidence-based practice. Surely everyone's interested in evidence-based practice. Surely that's how all medicine is practiced. Um, and fortunately, my, my colleague's been around me long enough to, to, to say, well, no, that's not, not true. Um, because actually, when we look at how doctors manage patients, uh, we realise that a lot of what we do as doctors is based on our own clinical experience with, with the bias, biases that that introduces. Um, we do things based on what our colleagues are doing around us, um, and often what we learnt at medical school, which could be 20 or 30 years ago now. Um, and the great thing about medicine is it's a science, and science is always changing, evolving. Um, and to, to keep ahead of that and to, to do what's best for your patient, uh, I think we need to be keeping up with, with the latest evidence and, and perhaps even you know, looking at the actual evidence ourselves and reading papers. Uh, and, and that's sort of what evidence-based practice is. Uh, the Health Library in Truro is, is a fantastic resource. Um, I use it uh, frequently and I'm always amazed at the turnaround time when I ask for a paper. Um, I think back to my time in medical school, I think I probably should have spent a bit more time in the library. Cornwall Health Library is on the top floor of the Knowledge Spa and we're staffed 8.30 to 5.30 weekdays. There is 24-7 access though, so you can get in any time. Just remember to abide by any distancing restrictions. It's easy to register with us, just go to our website and you can find us by googling Cornwall Health Library, then click on the join button. Otherwise you can come in and join. The website's the best place to find contact details and links to resources. We still buy hard copy books and have all the health and medical topics that you would expect, Oxford handbooks, OSCE practice, those sorts of things, but also topics like study skills, humanities, management. You can borrow 12 books at a time for four weeks and renew if you need to. Our library catalogue is on the internet, so you can check what books we have. As I said, the library is open 24 seven and we have a self-issue machine so you can borrow and return books at any time. There are lots of online resources available to you. It can be difficult to know how to access everything, but please do ask us for help. These resources are useful to you. There are e-books, full text journals, databases like Medline and Embase, and point of care tools like UpToDate and BMJ Best Practice. We can do individual or group training sessions on how to make best use of these resources, and that can be in the library or online. From third year, you can set up a local NHS Open Athens account, and I would really recommend that you do this. Register on an NHS computer or with your nhs.net email address. And there's a link on our website with how to do this. But please do ask us for help um, with this if you do need it. There are plenty of computers in the library on the Exeter network. Just remember any distancing restrictions. They all link to two printers. And there are plenty of, plenty of desk space with sockets where you can plug in your own devices. We've got two larger and three smaller study rooms that can be booked for individuals and groups. Two of the small rooms have NHS computers with patient systems, so that can be useful if you need to check patient records. Contact us if you want to book a room. We would appreciate it if you could go out of the library if you need to use your phone, and you're welcome to bring in drinks and cold food so you can come and have your lunch in the library. Occasionally it can get a bit noisy, so just remember that there are usually people working in the library, so uh, keep noise to a minimum.
The library is a nice relaxing space as well as somewhere to work. So you'll find comfy chairs, fiction books, knitting, chess, jigsaws. Please do contact us if we can help you in any way. And we hope social distancing rules won't affect your use of the library too much this year. Oh, hey there. Do you get bored revising at home or alone? Well, at the hospital library, you can book study rooms that allow you to study with your friends. They've got whiteboards, they've got TVs, so you can all test each other and revise from your favourite question banks all at the same time. The library is a great place to go and work, whether it be SSU, CBD preparation or just some SDL. The library provides a quiet place where you can sit and remain focused without the distractions at home. That's why whenever I need to get something done, I head to the library and I'll be way more productive there than if I stayed at home. There are many places you can sit with your laptop with charging points, or there's the library computers which are always available too. The library staff are really friendly and they'll help you gather information for literature reviews if you need it for SSU or independent projects. The library is a great resource for all, especially the book of the rooms with computers that have access to the online hospital system Maxims. These are really useful for preparing for your weekly case-based discussions that happen in clinical years. What I like about the library is the huge variety of books available, ranging from all the medical specialties to fictional books. And the medical books are also organised by specialty so that they can be found easily. I found using books very useful to guide my placement learning because it's very easy to get lost by the wealth of information on the internet. 